Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So again, this week we're gonna be doing some more yoga. We are gonna focus today on core and shoulders. So I have been sharing on my Instagram, Molly McKee for Yoga, that I've been working a lot on my pinch and my arasana, my forearm standing. There is so much that goes into forearm standing. Even though I can do forearm stand and I can't do handstand, I actually do think that forearm stand is a little bit more difficult. There's a lot more mobility involved. So today, basically, we're going to work on firing up our core and getting into that upper body strength and mobility that mobility that you need in order to get into forearm standing. It's also, if you're not even working toward forearm standing, this is just a great workout for um, core and upper body. Obviously, we're going to be doing yoga, so it's a yoga workout, um, but yeah, you can use a block. I'm going to be using a block today. You don't need to use one, so don't worry. Don't press stop or pause if you don't have a yoga block. You can still do this workout, and if you want to substitute, you can always grab a book or something, but you don't really need one. We're going to get started on our back, so I'd like you to just put your block out to one side for a moment and come onto your back. So we're coming all the way down. We're just going to get straight into it. So I'd like you to bring your knees in towards your chest. Then you just circle out the knees in one direction together. And so hands cupping your knees and just circle clockwise or anti-clockwise, just massaging out the lower back. And then re reverse the direction of the circle in the opposite way again, just feeling that nice gentle massage for the lower back and bringing the knees toward each other, and then circle the knees away from each other. So you can keep the big toes touching, touching, and just allow your knees to make this nice big circle. They can be small or big, the circles, it doesn't really matter. I just want you to start to feel into your hips. Reverse the direction of the circle with the knees so that they're maybe moving away from each other or toward each other. Okay, really nice. So, bringing your knees in toward your chest. I want you to feel your middle back ground down into the mat. Feel your rib cage knit down and in. So it's like you're scooping or trying to um, hollow out your front body. You're gonna bring your arms back by your ears. The palms will face up. And we're just gonna start to move. So we're gonna progress as we keep moving. But if something becomes too challenging, if you ever feel it in the back, then you just stick with the previous option. So from here, hover your head, neck, and shoulders. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring your arms forward by your hips. Again, inhale, arms back, hover, arms and head. Exhale, squeeze it forward, knees hugging in. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, squeeze forward. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, squeeze forward, keep going. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward, keep those rib cages Knitting in, inhale back to the middle back rounding, exhale forward, tailbone curling. This time as you inhale, bring your arms back. Shift your knees so that they come over your hips in this tabletop position. And then knees to chest, arms forward. Again, inhale, knees slightly shift forward. Shins parallel with the mat, middle back pressing down, exhale, squeeze forward. Inhale, arms back, knees over hips, exhale, squeeze it forward. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, squeeze forward. One more time like this. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, squeeze forward. And this time, inhale, you're going to shoot the legs forward as low as you can go, go Ardha Navasana. Exhale, straight legs, lift the legs, arms forward. Lower the legs, reach arms back. Inhale. Exhale, lift the legs, arms reach forward. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale, lower middle back rounds. Exhale, arms forward, tuck the tailbone. Keep going, I know it's getting hard. Inhale, exhale. If you need to regress steps, do. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Last time like this. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Now lower your left leg. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, frame your right thigh. Inhale, arms back, left leg lifts. Exhale, lower right leg, frame left thigh. Inhale, arms back, legs lift. Exhale, lower left, arms forward. Inhale, left leg lifts. Arms back. Exhale. 
exhale, lower right leg. Keep going, scissor your inner thighs, inhale, arms back. Exhale, keep those hips square, middle back rounds. Inhale, leg lifts. Exhale, right leg lowers. Inhale, leg lifts. Exhale, lower left, last round. Inhale, leg lifts. Exhale, lower right. Inhale, leg lift and release. Woo! Okay, so just circling out your knees again. You can cup the knees with your hands. If you need to sway your head left or right, just massaging out the neck and then reversing the direction of your circle, opposite way. Okay, and then from here, we're going to bring our hands behind our thighs and rock it all the way forward onto your bum. Scoot your bum back. Okay, so for this next part, if you have two blocks, you can modify with two blocks. I'm going to demonstrate. We're going to be doing this um, reverse tabletop movement. There's going to be a hovering of our bum. So basically, it doesn't mean if you can't do it, it doesn't mean that you're not strong enough. Simply, sometimes our arms, in the length of our arms, in proportion to the length of our torso are not long enough for the hovering of the bum. So if you need, you bring hands onto blocks rather than onto the, onto the mat. So you're going to be doing exactly the same movement, but you might introduce blocks underneath hands. Bring the hands behind you, fingers point forward. If it's too much for the wrist, the fingers can point slightly out. Feet are about hip width distance. And we're gonna inhale, lift our bum, knees stack over ankles, shoulders stack over wrists, and as you exhale, you're gonna shift your hips back, scoop your belly and round through your back, and keep the bum hovering. Again, inhale, shift it forward, hips lift, tuck tail. Exhale, bum shift back, flex the feet, push them out of the way as you hover the bum. Keep going, inhale, lift the hips, feeling in the shoulders as well. Exhale, round and squeeze. Keep going, inhale, bum lift, knees over ankle. Exhale, shift it back, hug the bum up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, shift it back, keep pushing them out of the way. Inhale, lift. Exhale, shift back. Keep going, inhale, lift. Exhale, shift back. This time maybe you hover your right foot. Bring the right foot back down, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, hover left foot, perhaps, if it's not too much. Lower left foot, inhale, lift it. Exhale, hover right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover left. Well done. Keep going. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right. Last round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover left. Inhale, lift. And release the bum all the way down. Well done. Okay. So we're going to come onto our bellies from here. I'd like you to roll over and find your way onto your belly. So we're going to lower all the way down and we're going to just come into a few cobras. I'd like you to come bring your fingertips in line with your shoulders as wide as your mat. Feet are about hip width, point the toes, contract the quads, pubic bone grounds. Inhale, just lift the chest, exhale, lower back down. Again, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, lower back down. Like a wave, contract your back muscles. Inhale, shoulders away from here, throwing them down. Exhale, release, well done. Okay, so from here, I'd like you to bring your arms down in front. You can either bring your palms together or palms framing your block. So you're squeezing the palms into the block, the thumbs are pointing up. If you don't have your block, you just bring the palms together, okay? So from here, we're gonna lift everything away from the mat. Pointing the toes, lift the legs, lift the arms, Keep your lower belly lifting up and in toward your lower back. Keep the pubic bone grounded. Keep the inner thighs rotating up. Hold it here for five, four. Reach forward, reach back through the toes. Squeeze the block. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, take a break. Nice, full breaths into your upper back, into your belly. 
We're going to do that again. This time I want you to bend at your elbows. We'll just demonstrate we lift and we bend our, our hands back. Keep the elbows drawing in toward your face. So try not to splay the elbows out. You're wrapping your triceps in just like you would in a chaturanga or a down dog. Again, you can do that without the block. So inhale, you're going to hover your legs, hover your arms, and then you're going to bend at the elbows, bring the block behind your head. Breathing here, try to lift your elbows as high as you can. Try to lift them higher than your shoulders for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Squeeze the block. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release, well done. You'll get one more of them. Breathing here. Okay, one more. Hover your legs, hover the arms. And then maybe if you can, you bend at the elbows, bring the block behind your head. Lift your elbows, wrap your triceps in for 10, 9, 8. Lift the elbows higher. 7, 6, navel to spine. 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Well done. Okay, from there, we're going to bring our hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes, lift your kneecaps, lift your thighs, push the point all the way up. Okay, from here, you can drop your knees. We're going to come to our forearm plank. So, I'm going to get you to bring your hands to the mat. Now, options here, you can bring palms face down, or you can bring your hands over your block, palms facing toward each other. This is a lot easier, but if you're really trying to uh, work on your shoulder mobility, the palms face down is where you'll be today. So, we're coming into a forearm plank. I'd like you to step your feet back, so tucking the toes, shoulders are over your elbows, your forearms are parallel with each other and your middle finger is an extension of your forearms. So we're trying not to lift the hips up too high, you want a long straight line from shoulders to heels, lift your quads, push down through the forearms, breathe in here. Keep your lower belly hugging in. Keep that rounding shape in your upper back. Keep your chest extending forward, gazing just toward your thumbs. Okay, from here, dolphin. Begin to walk your feet in. Look back toward your toes. Don't worry if the head is touching the mat. Just try to bend your knees and lift your bum a little bit higher. Keep those triceps wrapping in. Keep your chest extending back. If you can, try to tuck your chin toward your chest. And then slowly walk the toes back into your forearm plank one more time. Again, rib cage in, doming upper spine, quadriceps lift, tailbone tucks toward your heels. Breathing here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Dolphin, walk your toes in. Look back toward your toes if possible. Don't worry about straightening the leg just like in down dog. This is more about the shoulders, the upper back, the spine, rather than the legs. So if you need to bend the knees a lot, bend the knees. Rib cage in, maybe tuck the chin. Okay, so from here, we're going to drop our knees. Come up onto our hands. So from here, we're going to come into a staggered forearm and plank, and we're going to do elbow lifts. So what I'm going to get you to do is stack your right shoulder over your right elbow, like you just did in your forearm plank. Your left hand is going to come in line with your right elbow, okay? So it's this staggered forearm plank. We're going to be on left palm and right forearm. We're going to step back into a forearm plank with the left hand in line with our right elbow. So my right shoulder is still over the right elbow. From here, you're going to push into your left hand and lift your right elbow away from the mat. And slowly lower the right elbow back down. Four more times. Lift the right elbow and slowly lower it back down. Three more. Lift and lower back down. Lift, keep your quads strong. Lower back down, wrapping your tricep back. One more. Lift. And lower all the way back down. Bring your left forearm to the mat. Left shoulder underneath your, or left shoulder over your left elbow. And then right hand steps in line with your 
your left elbow. So this staggered forearm plank. Push down into your right hand, keep that right elbow wrapping back, quad strong. Lift your left elbow and slowly lower it back down. Four more. Lift and slowly lower. Lift, slowly lower. Lift, slow down. One more lift, slow lower. Well done. Four arm plank one more time. This time bring those inner feet together and we're going to do some hip dips. So you're going to lower the right hip down, bring it back to center, lower left hip down. Keep going. For 20, 19, keep the tailbone tucking. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Step your feet, hip width distance, toes are tucked. You're going to lower down to space. Keep the toes tucked and push it back up into your forearm plank. So I want you to think about hugging your pubic bone toward your belly button. So it's really this tucking sensation. Push down into the forearms and suck it back up. Lower down with control. Keep your quads active. Don't dip into the lower back. Inhale. Exhale. Push and lift. Inhale lower. Exhale. Suck lift. Rounding into your spine. Inhale lower. Exhale. Suck up and lift. Inhale lower. Think about pulling from your core. Exhale lift. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Two more. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Last one. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. And release. Bring your knees to the max. Well done. Okay. So that is our shoulder and core workout for today. I promise you if you do that, even twice a week, you will notice massive changes in your, not only your upper body strength, not only your core strength and stability, but your progress towards your forearm standing or pinch in my rasana. So um, maybe you want to do a few shoulder openers after that. I also have a shoulder mobility um, YouTube video, which I'll include in the link below. And maybe you can do a few of that after that. And it will only complement the shoulder mobility and strength that you have just achieved today on your mat. So thanks as always for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this sweaty flow and please do, if you are watching my videos, please do share with friends and if you can, please do subscribe so that you can be notified every time I um, post my weekly videos. And thank you and namaste.